figuring out that being alone is kind of a trigger for me. I know now, like when I'm alone. Soulmate. Daryl Sabara is opening up about his road to recovery. The Spy Kids actor joined wife Megan Trainer for the newest episode of her podcast, Working On It, and detailed his sobriety journey, revealing how therapy helped him identify his substance use triggers. Daryl explained that the discovery made it easier for him to understand why he used to turn to alcohol and marijuana as coping mechanisms and admitted that his commitment to change has come with challenges. Figuring out that being alone is kind of a trigger for me. I know now, like when I'm alone, Soulmate. to be like ready for the little bastard inside my head to be like, hey buddy, it's just us now. <laughs> what are we gonna do? It's party. You know? <laughs> and like, that's huge. To know like that it's coming instead of just being like going straight to booze or weed. That's the other thing too is I stop weed as well. Yeah, see, I that feel like that was even for harder for you. That was yeah. hard for me because there was no like you're a delight. There was no repercussions of weed. Yeah, I never had like a bad experience on weed. It was only great. And I had a great experience with you high near me. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't like, ugh, you're annoying. I was like, you're a little puppy dog. <laughs> um, but I, one piece of advice that my therapist gave me that was so helpful was she just said, uh, if you want to be on your A game, maybe consider full sobriety. Daryl is rarely alone these days. The 30-year-old and his music superstar wife are parents to nearly two-year-old son, Riley, and the couple has loved giving fans a peek into their parenting life including the adorable time a then-infant Riley's baby babble sounded suspiciously like he was saying, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> We're going to count it. <laughs> count it. All right. And and Megan and Daryl recently celebrated their four-year wedding anniversary and are never shy about sharing their love for one another. And it's no surprise to see Megan so supportive of her husband. The singer has been candid about her own mental health, too. Back in 2018, Megan shared with Access Hollywood how she faced serious anxiety after multiple vocal cord surgeries left her with uncertainty about her career. I had my second vocal surgery, which was tough, because once you do it once, you're like, cool, I'll never do this again, and happened right after. And uh, it was exactly a year after I won my Grammy, and, and the surgery was on the day of the Grammys. The wow. following year that was just because that was the day the doctor had available so it was very dark it was very oh life goes up and down and here it's happening to me right now when you're silent and when you have to be mute you have to be on vocal rest you're alone with your thoughts even if you have your loved ones near you I had daryl with me every day helping me but you're talking to yourself and you can get really scary sometimes it turned into a dark place of anxiety and i didn't i was uneducated about anxiety i didn't know it could physically make you feel like you have the flu or cripple you and make you stay home all the time mm -hmm. and so i had to educate myself on that see a lot of doctors and climb out of it and now and with the help of daryl and exercise and eating well I feel so good, so healthy, so happy, and I can appreciate every moment now.